Hey guys, a couple days ago, I put up an antenna, 20 foot, six inches or 20.5 or whatever. Really cool antenna, really interesting how it worked. The true test of an antenna though is QRP. I'm going to put that thing up today and I'm not going to sit here in the Jeep. I'm going out down to the beach. I'm about, a, I'm staying, right, this is where I'm staying. I'm about a block and a half from the beach. I'm going to roll down there, put everything in my little blue bucket and walk out on the beach with my 5 watt uh, Zygu X5105, pop it up and put that same antenna, same wires, same everything, put it up and sit on the beach here in the lawn chair and uh, see how this thing can, uh, how it'll do this morning. It's um, it's about 10 a.m. and I am uh, I figured I'd go down for a couple hours and then go grab some lunch. So let's build that same antenna, the 20 foot, five inch vertical with a four to one on on. Let's build that thing and see how it will how it will perform with 5 watts SSB. If it can do something with that, then it might be a decent antenna. And I can kind of like experiment more and see really how this thing will, uh, will perform and uh, how much I really want to use it in the future. Stick around. Okay, here's the setup. I traveled very, very light today. <laughs> Walked down here with my blue bucket, uh, my piece of PVC pole, or uh, pipe I should say. Drove it in the ground, I do have a little rubber mallet with me. And the uh, Zygu X5105, there's the antenna. This is Greenwich Bay I'm looking at over here. This is my DX Commander seven meter pole. This antenna fits just like it's made for this pole, it really is. Um, with the on on there, that is a, uh, LDG 4 to 1 onion. I got the one piece, these are the same wires I used the last time I was out. I got a piece of uh, just, I've been scrapping. It's got splices in it or whatever, piece of uh, like 20 gauge wire. This time I just threw it right out into the water there. So here we go. That's Narragansett Bay out there. I'm in Oakland Beach, Warwick, Rhode Island. Got over here by the rocks to get away from people and maybe break the wind down a little bit because it's going to be windy and hearing might be an issue. But um, Let's go see if we can get on the air and make some contacts. And uh, here's the uh, radio by Saigu X5105. Use a little uh, cheap external speaker. This is something I got yesterday. I was at the uh, Northeast uh, Ham uh, Expo here in Massachusetts. Pretty cool thing. Reliance Antennas, it's a choke. I'm gonna choke it here. They have no idea who I was when I bought it. I purchased it, but um, there's where you can find them. Pretty cool looking little choke see how that works and um, if you end up buying one from them then you drop them a note saying hey I saw old, uh, Salty Walt K4OGO using this thing and decided to buy one myself like I said they have no clue who I was I just walked up and bought it and uh, I'm gonna give it a shot I thought it looked really cool pretty cool looking little choke so um, let's get on the air Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar Kilo four Oscar Golf Oscar. Kilo four Oscar Golf Oscar QSL. QSL. Hey, can't believe I broke the pile up first. Uh, first the QSL of the day. Five watts. Five watts portable in Rhode Island. Thanks for taking the call. Thank you for the five watts. Thank you for the Nobody got the Oscar Golf Oscar yet. Yes, Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. You're 5757 five, into Rhode Island. I'm 5 watts, QRP portable. USL, Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. You're 5 and 9, and you're exchanging Sao Paulo, Sugar Papa. Roger that, Roger that. You're call number one for me, number one, Rhode Island. Roger, I need the, your continent in North America, November Alpha, okay? Roger that, November Alpha, thank you. First uh, first call of the contest, thank you. Thank you, sir. 73, Papa Yankee. Okay, I had to make an executive decision here. I should have checked the tide. I do this in Virginia and North Carolina all the time. I check the tide before I go out. I did not. That's a lesson learned when you're at the beach. Tide is coming in and was coming up on me, so I've, I've moved back. And uh, here it is. Let's get back to it. QSL, 
QSL, QSL, the name is Walt, Whiskey Alpha, Lima Tango. I'm uh, 5 watts uh, QRP on the beach in Rhode Island. Thanks for letting me check in. QSL, yeah, you're welcome to check in. Uh, you sound good, QRP, 5 watts. And uh, what beach did you say? I'm at uh, Oakland Beach in Rhode Island. It's in the uh, city of Warwick, Rhode Island here, so it's the south tip. I'm looking right out at the Narragansett Bay, which leads out into the Atlantic Ocean here. CQ, CQ, CQ six meters, CQ six meters. Kilo four, Oscar, Golf, Oscar calling CQ on six. Kilo four, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. CQ, CQ six meters, CQ six meters. Anyone, anyone. Kilo four, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. Yes, Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. Roger, Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. Thanks very much. You are 59 South America, Sierra Alpha. QSL, you're 59 North America. 5 watts QRP here. Thank you for the call. Very, very, very indeed. I love to hear about 5 and 7. That's pretty good. All the best. Back to the 59 North America. 73. Thank you, 73. Well, it's 12 noon right now, and um, man, bands are, I don't know, they are what they are, but uh, this antenna looking good on 10 meters for sure. Um, yeah, I tried to get, I got on, it tuned great on 6 meters, it really did, and uh, it's nothing going on at 6, it's not open, but um, I, I'm having fun with this antenna so far, but it's, it's a little after 12, it's about quarter after 12, I'm ready for some lunch. And here's today's post-radio lunch spot. Tommy's world famous clam shack here. I'm in Warwick, Rhode Island. I'm just a, just a quick trip, few not even a quarter of a mile from where I was operating, just kind of inland away from the beach and uh, seen this place, pass it a few times. I've never eaten here. I want to check this place out. Okay, I think I'm gonna go for the uh, world famous 100% lobster roll. This is uh, Tommy's world famous clam shack. Let's try that out. And we'll go with the white the chowder, a cup of white chowder with that. And uh, let's see how that turns out. Okay, here we go. My God, that looks good. That's a great looking lobster roll. And uh, they got some pretty cool stuff going on here. I will, if this is as good as it looks, I will be back. And um, here we go for you guys now. I've done the red, I've done the clear. Let's try some white. Time to eat. Let's go. All right. I'm not lying. That might be the best um, chowder I've had so far here in Rhode Island. It's really good. I'm trying to tackle this lobster roll. I've already eaten some off the top and get it manageable. It's good too. But uh, wow, this is great. Okay, I'm getting there. I got to tell you, this toasted roll is what makes this thing so amazing. The lobster is good. The seasoning in it is good, but that roll is just so awesome. And um, I don't know if I'm going to finish all this, but oh, this is just great. Okay, that might be the priciest place I've been, but I'm not going to lie. It might very well be the best, too. That food was amazing. That was a really good stop. I'm glad I, I drive past this place all the time. It's a few blocks out from the beach there. I, I'm staying near where I was just at today. So, um, yeah, pretty uh, pretty cool place. Now, let's talk about the antenna. I wanted to get out in uh, the, the 20 and a half foot uh, vertical that I did in the last video before this. I really wanted to get out with low power. I think that's the real, t tells the real tale of uh, the antenna. You know, between the hours of uh, say 10 and uh, noon in the morning might not be the best time but uh, especially 10 really wasn't open but my gosh i just can't believe it now let's be honest it's at the end of the day the question i really asked answered with that is can you use a four to one on a five eighths wavelength antenna for 10 meters because that's what that is uh, and uh that stumbled across that i used to wonder about that all the time we talk about matching everyone would say uh you, you, need, you need to have a matching unit to match a five eighths wave whatever well the match to me right now at least for this way this wire length or whatever for five eighths uh 10 meter band uh, antenna is definitely you can use a four to one it works it works well i could use it without a tuner if i wanted to i uh, got the 20 made made the you know contacts on 20 as well so i personally just operate between say 
uh, 20 and 10. I did try uh, called CQ on six. Nothing happening today because that radio, that little radio, five watt radio, I have has six meters on it. Hey, you got to give it a shot, and um, and I I did to see how things would go. I I like the fact that that little that little radio has a battery in it, and I, and I just bought it brand new. It's waiting on me in Virginia. It's been shipped there. I purchased the the, the go the uh, GoTech um, Q900. I've got one waiting on me with an internal battery. Small. Um, I'm not saying it's going to replace the uh, G90, but uh, if it doesn't get hot and I can go out on the beach for two or three hours at a time and pump out anywhere near 20 watts with it, it might be my radio for doing what I did today. I'm, I love being in the Jeep operating or whatever, and as it gets super cold, I'm going to, but I'm getting ready to come up on the time of year, uh, autumn, fall here in the Northern Hemisphere where the beaches are empty, and you can get out there, and on top of that, the band conditions are, are better as well. So um, with that said, I'm going to have this antenna maybe for 10 meters, and then maybe that Q900, we'll see. Uh, I do have the other yeah, I now, now have a standalone 10 meter radio. Um, one of the few things I have that was given to me uh, to try, and uh, there's a whole, boy, I've got some drama on that end. I'll, we'll talk about that in another video. But um, uh, yeah, I like to purchase things. I purchased a Q900. The thing I showed you today, the choke, I just walked up to the table and purchased it. Didn't say I'm a YouTuber, who I am or whatever. So um, uh, that's the way I got that. Um, did uh, last video I had a 11 meter contact in it. It was wonderful. Just a, a jolly, happy. I call him Jolly Man uh, from Montego Bay, Jamaica. It was such a cool, fun contact on 11 meters. And it kind of. Um, I'm a little disappointed. I had a uh, a long time subscriber that I really interact with all the time. He's in ZL, and uh, he man he went off on me and basically let me have it and said he's unsubscribed and all that. So I didn't go back. I just you know. Okay, I just deleted, you know, blocked him, and we're done with it. Um, my thoughts on 11 meters is, look, I would love to get more people from the 11 meter world to get their ham license, and I'm trying to be that guy between the two of them, and hopefully that'll work. Um, I would also like for hams to try 11 meters. That's where I came from many, many, many years ago. I love 11 meters, and I think uh, as we both want to grow our hobbies, the 11 meter guys and the ham guys, um, you know, we need to handshake. And I, if you don't like that with me, then um, you don't have to announce that you're leaving. But um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have some 11 meter stuff on my channel because it's just a band. I've said this before. 11 meters is just a band between 10 and 12 meters, which are two ham bands. So it's like getting a bonus band that you don't need a license for. Um, you do need to, uh, I mean, me especially, uh, be careful with what you're doing. And um, I, like I said, in the future, we'll, you'll see me today. I, I use, I put the Bearcat in here. Sweat, guys, sorry. Um, and uh, I wanted to uh, to do that as well. These, um, you know, everyone seems to like me eating <laughs> after these videos. I wish I'd have done more like this when I was in Poland. I want to document my time here, the culture, everything around me, what it's all about. I didn't do enough of that in my Poland videos because, you know, one day I'll be a very old man and these videos will still be around and it'll be nice to go back and look at the time spent and what I did here. So, um, that's it. I kind of rambled a little more than I should have, but um, I'm full of food. I need an afternoon coffee. So anyway, hey guys, if you're not a subscriber and you came, you made it this long, you need to subscribe. Please hit the subscribe button. Until next time, I'm Walt K4OGO73, my friends. See you soon.